Hi everyone, and thank you for waking up with us on this Wednesday morning. It's now six o'clock. I'm Jordan Schreer here with Lisa Badeau. Well, these are words you probably don't want to hear, <laughs> but brace yourself. We have some more nasty winter weather headed our way. So we went ahead right away to meteorologist Lisa Green to see what we can expect on this Wednesday morning. Well, yeah, it's going to be another tough one, and it's a combination of snow and wind, and we know how that goes here in the valley, and that's heading into the valley for later today and tonight and continuing into Thursday. So we have now a winter storm warning in effect. It includes southeastern North Dakota stretching up toward Grand Forks and uh, many of our counties in along the Red River in Minnesota and expect to have that winter weather advisory also surrounding that area to pick up several inches of snow. Wind chill advisory out west and where we're not expecting as much snow here with this system. But first off, we're still feeling the impacts of last night's event. We're still seeing some snow in the northern valley fargo had a little coating of snow that's unfortunately going to greet you for your morning drive today and thief river falls and new folden we've got a little snow shower activity happening there and that's going to work its way to the northeast bedette a little bit of light snow and there's some snow moving into towner county that will affect uh, the devil's lake basin here for a little bit this morning now we are looking down to the southwest at that uh, band of snow that's pushing in now to brown county in south dakota and will continue to try to lift across the state line and affect our southeastern north dakota viewers here as early as this morning and that's when we'll start to get more accumulations here with this system. So temperatures one below in Fargo, four below in Grand Forks. It's 15 for your wind speed in Fargo or Grand Forks rather. Fargo's at 14. Wind is coming in straight out of the north in most areas and visibility is down thanks to a little light snow in spots. Three miles in Roseau. We're at one mile in Bemidji. So that snow again moves on. We get a few hours of a break but the Southern Valley especially during the daytime hours today we'll have more snow building in and that will just start to add up we could end up with several inches of snow by the time the day is over the wind picks up too we'll have wind that's in the teens gusts into the 20s and 30s late tonight with more ongoing and heavy snow continuing into the overnight hours and even Thursday. So by the time this is all said and done by Friday morning, some of us could end up with a decent amount of snow. In fact, a widespread area of a good three to six inches of snow expected here, but there will be some bands that are a lot heavier than that with this system, and that may be more likely uh, southeast and also in some of those areas that pick up that snow early this morning along the state line. So bottom line, a decent amount of snow with this and combine that with some wind tonight. We're talking some very tough travel. We'll have more information on that coming up, but we want to check in now with the Valley Today's Al Amit for a traffic update. Good morning, Lise. Good morning, everyone. We're out here on Interstate 94 westbound, just uh, approaching the uh, Vets Boulevard area. And uh, a little light snow that Lisa was talking about that we got overnight didn't do us any real favors this morning. I wouldn't say that the uh, roads are extremely slippery or anything like that, but uh, there's definitely some wheel tracks out here this morning, particularly in the passing lane. Uh, the ramps tend to be on the slippery side once again this morning, and I've been on uh, three of them, four of them already this morning. So you're going to want to be mindful of that. Uh, traffic this morning is uh, picking up. Uh, travel speeds out here fairly close to the season or to the norm rather, right around 60 to 65, maybe off just a little bit from that. But again, uh, we're going to want to be extra careful this morning and we're going to check out I-29 and see what that looks like. We'll get back with you here in about uh, 10 minutes or so. At Vets Boulevard and I-94, Alamut Valley today traffic. 